So to whom was this a PR victory? I mean, to me, when you're insulting Pence for bringing the victims of the North Korean regime to, to the place, maybe that's a PR victory. Why isn't that a By the way, her t- real title is she's the Minister of Propaganda and Agitation. So <laughs> that's, that's what they do in these t- t- tyrannical countries. But Pence has just been a huge target. Obviously, he was the administration's face at the Olympics, but they went after him like crazy. And there's this one figure st- skater, Adam Rippon, is that how he pronounced his name? Excellent figure skater. And he's gay, which like, Big surprise. You know, the old joke about what's the hardest thing about figure skating? The hardest thing about figure skating is telling your father you're gay. So, <laughs> so he comes out and he's been nothing but hammer Pence. And it's all, you know, oh, Pence, you know, wants to convert gay people. And I'm not talking to Pence and I'm not going to the White House and I won't shake his hand. And suddenly, because, you know, as as uh, Instapundit says, go, go woke, go broke. You know, suddenly probably he's getting some feedback that maybe this isn't uh, going so well. Suddenly he t- turns up and I don't I want to talk about Mike Pence. This isn't about Mike Pence. Here he is. I have no problem talking about, you know, what, what I've said uh, because I stand by it. But I think right now the Olympics are about Olympic competition and the athletes involved. I don't want to distract from their Olympic experience. And I don't want my Olympic experience to be about Mike Pence. Um, you know, I want it to be about my amazing skating and um, being America's sweetheart. Yeah, well, too late, Dreamboat. You know, <laughs> it's like you start. It's like they start it, but they can't finish it. But the thing with Pence, and I, I really like Mike Pence. I was in his office. Uh, when I was in Washington, I got, he wasn't there, but I got a tour of his ceremonial office. It was really cool because he has this desk that was gotten by Teddy Roosevelt, this huge desk. And the, there's a tradition where it, it went finally to the vice presidents, but everybody who uses it signs the drawer. So you open up the drawer and like Eisenhower signed it and, uh, you know, all, all the vice presidents. Very, very cool. Uh, 